our space appliance stands for slow palatal airway correction expander and this is one of our most popular 3d expanders that we use for kids and it's a case we're actually getting ready to insert today and it's a typical case with kids there's a mixture of adult teeth and baby teeth and this is really the best time to get in really get things growing in the right direction what these appliances are really good at doing is getting the mouse to grow wider grow forward to improve how the upper and lower jaws come together. It can also, if people have some facial asymmetries where the jawline isn't quite level to the ground, it can work on that as well. These are the models that came back from the lab. They have some markings on here because they've actually handmade the appliances on the models. This is the palette that you can see is really narrow and we've got some pretty bad anterior crowding here. The adult front teeth and the adult lateral incisors, the lateral incisors can't even fit in there. The baby canine is still present. The adult canine is going to be much larger than that. So suffice to say, we need a lot of width-wise expansion. We really need to get some more forward growth. The upper appliance actually fits on the case like this. Typically what we would do is we would have the child wear the appliance while they're sleeping. They don't have to wear it during the day. Just put it in before they go to sleep. They wake up in the morning, clean it, go about their business during the day, next night put the appliance back in. Here's the adjustment area uh, we've designed for the appliance. There's an arrow that goes this way. So we would put the key in here, we would turn it. That's gonna slowly get the appliance to expand this way. And then there's arrows in the back. There's a, another little expansion mechanism back here. We would have the, the parent typically put the key in there and expand it. We typically have the parents expanding these appliances once every 10 days. The lower jaw looks like this. There's quite a bit of crowding here. We need to get more space. Here's the lower appliance. Goes in a little bit like that. With the lower appliance, there's one adjustment on the bottom. There's an area where you bite on the appliance. We call that a bite plane. And you can see by looking at the appliance, there's a thickness of material there. Depending on how we shape that, the lower teeth will fit in an exact orientation. So in that way, we can control how the upper and lower jaws come together. And we really do want to improve how the upper and lower jaw meet. The other thing that the appliance can do, we can work on leveling the upper jawline. Typically what we'll do is we'll take a neutral bite so we know how the upper and lower jaw is coming together when the jaw muscles are relaxed. As the expansion is taking place, each appointment will actually adjust the bite to try to level the, the upper jawline asymmetry. There's a lot of things that you can accomplish with these space appliances. It's really a matter of getting three-dimensional expansion, getting better facial balance, enables there to be more room for the teeth to fit, more room for the tongue to fit, hopefully better breathing, and all the things that we're trying to accomplish in these cases.